mouse modifiers. So within Reaper, you can actually change the way the mouse works in three particular ways. Left click, left double click, and left click and hold, or left click drag is what they call it in Reaper. And you can find all these in options, preferences, and then mouse modifiers. So I'll just show you some of the features that I put in that make it work like Pro Tools. For instance, if you left click and you do control, just like in Pro Tools, the top of the item will go to the mouse cursor. And if you want the opposite, then you do option control and the end will go to the mouse um, edit cursor. So that's just clicking. But an added feature that I put in there is that if you press, what is it, command option control, it'll make your asset from stereo to mono. So just kind of a neat little feature. Um, also, there's the track features, which if you double click, just like in Pro Tools, it'll solo or it'll highlight all of the items in the track. And also, I added this little feature, press control and on the track, and it'll solo the track, which is a lot faster to me than doing shift S. Added little feature. Um, one feature I forgot to show is all of the dragging. Um, so if you do, uh, what is it? Control, control, just like in Pro Tools, it'll move the item up and down and you can move this all around and it kind of locks it in place, which is I use all the time. But an added feature um, is you can adjust the volume. I have it at fine, but you can change this if you want. So if you go to this clip and then you press command and option, then you can actually do the volume of the clip up and down, and that's clip gain. And if you have multiple items, you can do all the volumes and adjust it just by just by just dragging click, which is super awesome, way faster than having to like find the clip gain and do some clip gain for that. Also, you have a choice between just the normal Pro Tools functionality and then if you want to use the smart tool within Pro Tools. Um, I created a mouse modifier setup. So if you go to mouse modifiers and then you go load modifiers for all contents, you can choose between the two modifiers. I have the normal what I use because I don't use smart tool very often. And then there's also the Pro Tools smart tool. So you can just select that, press apply, OK. And now at the top will be your selecting time selection. Bottom is like the grabber. So this is very much the smart tool functionality. You'll see that a lot of things work in, in the smart tool way. If you select on the bottom a clip, it'll highlight it in time selection and put your cursor at the front. And it, then the only difference is shift. You have to double click instead of single click, but then it'll have the, the Pro Tools functionality. So that's just if you like using the smart tool. If you don't, you can use the other option.